Hey, what's up everybody? Eric with Solar Box. Today, I'm out for a little bit of a ride in Western Washington. And it has just begun to sprinkle a little bit. Welcome to Washington. I'm uh, having myself some uh, deluxe indulgent trail mix. Not only is it deluxe, but it is in fact indulgent also. So I'm waiting on, uh, I'm doing some testing of the Campomatic 5000 right now. I'm waiting on my lasagna to heat up. It's in the bag, I just stirred it. Just found this really nice little spot on the side of the road. Anybody that's from the area, I am out near Lake Kavanaugh. Just a little creek on the side of the road on the way out there. Little CRF 250 rally. I've done about a little over 500 miles in the last two days on this bike. I finally got to get out and see if it is in fact going to be a good little touring bike. And I'm here to tell you it absolutely exceeds my hopes for it. Um, bike is awesome. I did, uh, I think, uh, about 70 miles on Interstate 5. Wouldn't be my first choice for this bike to be doing Interstate, but it'll do it just fine. It's not a big deal. Um, did a bunch of highway. Actually, I went up over the top of Highway 2. There's a mountain pass. Uh, went out to Eastern Washington yesterday and, and came back across that pass actually last night in the dark. Froze my ass off, but it was really fun. Um, Rode a bunch of double track. Uh, rode a bunch of um, of uh, power lines today. Power lines are pretty much like my favorite thing to ride, really. You know, it's double track, but it's a little bit more technical than logging roads. I rode a bunch of logging roads today too. Um, this is the mod the modern day equivalent to the uh, the KLR 650. Um, this is a really great do it all bike. Doesn't do anything particularly well. But I'll tell you what, it's way better off-road than a KLR, and I'm surprised. On-road, I think it's better on the on the road, too. The reason I think it's better is it doesn't vibrate nearly as much. Um, it still makes almost as much power as a KLR. The power-to-weight ratio is actually about the same. This bike doesn't weigh as much as a KLR, and it doesn't, it doesn't make as much power, um, but that doesn't matter. It's a, the ratio is about the same, and that's really what you're after, and that's part of why I was willing to get this bike in the first place. So I'm really thrilled with how it is. Um, it's exactly what I was hoping for, and I'm grateful that I finally was able to, to have a couple of days without Astro. I was able to hop out on it and uh, do a ride. Uh, the new 8-inch uh, G3s are working out just fine. I filled them up with my gear. Um, I didn't bring tools with me this time. Uh, I probably packed a little bit light, but you know, like going over that pass yesterday, six gear, it'll go up over a mountain pass with me, all my gear and those boxes hanging off of the side of it without downshifting. You know, I'm fine. Um, the only modification I made really was I added two teeth to the rear sprocket, which you probably want to do anyway. Um, I'm only like 150 pound rider though, so if somebody's getting up into the 200 pound range, you know, you might find that maybe it's not enough. They did just start making this bike in a 300cc version, which I really had hoped to buy, but you know, those bikes still aren't in dealerships here in, in uh, North America, so I'm glad I, I grabbed the last 250 while I could. And actually, I've been thinking about it. You know, maybe I'm better off to have bought the 250 because, you know, one of the changes they made with the new 300 is it's got um, weights in the end of the bars, which tells me that there might be a little bit more vibration. You know, uh, it's definitely going to have a little bit bigger piston, a little bit more mass going up and down. And so that's going to probably be a little bit more buzzy. Maybe I've already got the better of the two bikes. I don't know, but uh, I own this one now, so it's probably a little bit late to... Uh, to change my mind. You know, I'll probably, if, if I love this bike enough, maybe down the road I'll end up with the 300. We'll see, but you know, I do think that there's a chance that maybe that bike might be a little bit more buzzy. And one of the things I love about this one is that, uh, you know, there's a little bit, but it's not bad. It's nothing like a KLR. And that's really what I hated about the KLR. And, and the gearing on this is so much better. Um, second gear off-road, 10 miles an hour, picking along just, uh, you know, going real slow with uh, my boxes and just picking my way on a nice line. Second gear is perfect on this. 
first gear because I added two teeth is even lower than it would have been stock, which can definitely get you out of some trouble or what have you. I'm telling you, I like this bike a lot. Um, definitely very much enjoying myself. Uh, seat isn't too bad. I've got uh, a little pad on there um, from Walmart. Um, after 500 miles, my butt's maybe getting a little bit sore today, but it's not too terribly bad. Um, anything else to think of with this? Uh, really enjoying the heated grips. The little Walmart tank bag is nice. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm uh, running out of shit to say. So anyway, I'm going to eat my lasagna and then probably hop on my bike and just head home. I've got a tent and stuff, but the dogs haven't been out. So I'll probably run home and uh, let Leo and Riley out and then uh, get up real early in the morning and work again. I've actually, I've been kind of screwing off riding for the last couple of days when I should have been working. But you know what? It's really rare that I get a break from Asher where I can actually go out and do stuff like this. So I got to uh, take advantage of it when I have the opportunity. So ride safe, everybody. Eric Solobox. Talk to y'all later.